Guys, Aston got groomed today, and please look Guys, at how cute he is. They gave him a bow tie. Hi, cute boy. Hi. Wait, show his bow tie. Show your bow tie. Show your bow tie. It's your girl Rochelle and Zach back at it again with another YouTube video and this time we're engaged I forget I have it on and then like I'll do something and I'll look down at my hand or like I'll accidentally like hit it on something What? <laughs> Nothing like bad then I'll feel it and be like oh yeah I forgot that was on there So basically today we're just gonna do like a mukbang we got some sushi So we're just gonna eat and talk about our proposal and answer some of your guys' questions about it because I feel like we didn't really mention that much in the proposal video obviously there was so much going on it was yeah. hard to like explain the background of it and we got sushi from our favorite sushi place so we just wanted to like enjoy this food and explain to you guys a little bit more about the proposal in case you had questions honestly guys it was so crazy because I feel like when the proposal happened and everything and when we were at the hotel and all that stuff it was kind of like a dream like it didn't really feel real to me so then when we went home and like today I've been doing homework all day it's like you're snapped right back into reality but you almost want to just like keep reliving it does mm -hmm. that make sense he had a freaking stressful day i had a stressful day and it's just like i just wish we could go back and just relive it and it sucks how like monumental moments like that only last for such a small second you that's know? why we're thankful we have youtube and you guys because obviously we you know it. we want to make these videos for enjoyment purposes but mm -hmm. also for our own sake we can look back at these videos Memories. forever and actually have a full like timeline not just like somebody's cell phone recording and we can show our kids and all that stuff which i think is really cool but anyways we're gonna stop talking we're gonna jump into this mukbang and then we will answer some questions anyways we got some cream cheese wontons michelle oh. taught me how to do this i hate that noise though ah stop you taught me how to do it i know but it's like nails on a chalkboard okay so we got cream cheese wontons i'm just gonna take a bite because i'm so hungry guys it came with like some sweet and sour sauce i got spicy mustard or spicy mayo or whatever mustard so the first question is why wasn't zach's family there so obviously both of us wanted my family to be there mm -hmm. i'm sure if you've been here for a while you know that my family lives on the east coast and we live in california yeah. so obviously you know doing things like this on a short term notice is is difficult plus covid so traveling is hard as it is mm -hmm. once i realized that i was going to propose to rochelle and it was like a plan and everything first thing i wanted to do was try to have my parents there and my brother and everybody i wanted my whole family to be there but obviously at least my parents it was pretty much impossible, impossible. that was something we had talked about before we always said that if we we're going to get engaged we would have both of our families there so that was part of the reason why i didn't think it was going to happen during this time right my dad couldn't come from the jump i knew he wasn't going to be able to so obviously my number one thing was we have to facetime him to make sure he's included somebody would have to you know chat with him and make sure he could see it live i got to the point where my mom and my stepdad were gonna come but then you know once we started getting into the logistics the plane tickets the cost of doing this all for like a two-day stay obviously it was for a reason but for two Two days it was like over two thousand dollars and it just didn't make sense considering obviously i already had other costs so that's why my parents weren't there we did facetime them so they were able to see it obviously they saw all the videos and the photos next month we're actually going on a vacation with my mom and my stepdad and that side of the family so we'll celebrate so then. we'll celebrate with them then yeah. and everything's all good okay but side note to that he ended up getting a hotel room in the same hotel as us for his stepdad and his mom but since they weren't able to come out, he ended up giving it to Logan and Riley, our friends. And so what he had told me, cause that was another question someone asked who was holding the camera. So what he told me is that Logan and Riley just happened to be staying at the same hotel as us. Um, for Valentine's Day and I honestly didn't really think anything of it because we travel with them a lot Like when mm -hmm. we go stay at Airbnbs, we go with them and stuff like that So it's not uncommon for us to be at the same place, you know It's not weird that like maybe I told them where we were going yeah. and they got the same hotel I Exactly, guess that wasn't weird like I didn't think anything of that I was like, okay cool, we can have dinner all together or whatever He told me we were all going to dinner So Riley was the one who actually took the video that you guys saw in the proposal video, right? She took yes. it? Yeah, so that's who was holding the camera It was actually our friend She was filming on her phone walking 
looking in behind us. Behind us, yeah. So it was like the best view. So about the proposal video, a lot of people were wondering when I saw my family if I knew what was happening. And yeah, I immediately knew. As soon as I saw my family, I was like, why else would they be here on Valentine's right. Day? Like, they're not going to hang out with us, you know, like just for no reason. So as soon as I saw my family, I just started sobbing because I knew what was about to happen. And I was like, holy crap. You're gonna crap. cry now. I you? honestly might. I'm still emotional about the whole thing. And then another question that we've been getting a lot is did I know something was going to happen? Like, did he ever accidentally spoil it? Or like, did I have a suspicion that something was going to happen or that he was going to propose? It's kind of funny because I had a running joke with him. Like, oh, you're gonna propose on Valentine's every, Day. Every day up until the day she was saying, oh, you're gonna propose on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, we're getting engaged, yada, yeah. yada. But I kept giving her all of these reasons why we weren't gonna get engaged, such as my family couldn't be there, her mom was traveling, her dad was traveling, and obviously we wouldn't do it if like some of the family couldn't be there. Yeah, so I kept trying to like get a reaction out of him by being like, oh, we're gonna get engaged. I don't know where that thought came from. I think it was just like, it was just like a running joke. We had joke. talked about it, we but talked, like it wasn't yeah. like I, I was gonna do, do it, it right now. Valentine's I didn't Day, think yeah. you were gonna do it now at all, but it was kind of like a running joke, like, oh, you're gonna propose soon. Guys, I even got him a Valentine's card that said, to my future husband. <laughs> like, how did. crazy is that? I'm sure there was like a, a little bit of in the well, back of your mind, but like, you had no idea that it, like, it was actually gonna, gonna happen. happen. That's what I was saying. I was talking to one of my friends about it, and she was like, did you know it was gonna happen? And I was like, honestly, part of me was like hopeful for it, but I didn't want to get my hopes up and then it not happen. You know what I mean? So, did Zach ask my family? Like, did he ask my father's permission? And did you like talk to my mom about it and your family about it before it happened? Yes, obviously I talked to my family, but it wasn't so much like asking my family. Obviously I asked her dad, I would have never done it without doing that. I asked her dad because luckily it just so happened that like at the time I was planning all of this stuff. My dad asked him to go golfing. Her dad asked me to go golfing and I was like, perfect. This is like the best opportunity I could ever have because it's rare that her dad and I are by ourselves, because Rochelle always comes. If we go do something, she's there too. Yeah, I can't and the miss whole, out the, the whole, fun. The whole family's there, not just her, but yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. So we went golfing, and her dad's reaction was honestly like, finally, like you're, <laughs> it's, it's about, about damn time. time. Yeah. yeah, it's about time. He was excited, definitely. You know, he had no ill feeling about it. It was definitely, you know, happiness all around. So that was great. Rochelle's mom, who honestly, I, I didn't really have to like ask her, but like I wanted her opinion on it and I knew she was gonna be happy about it. I asked her and she was so like taken back. Plus her mom is German. So like, I think she kind of thinks of some words differently. Like like she processes them before she like translates to English fully or something. Maybe. I don't know how to explain or it. Or they have two different meanings. I told her, I was like, I think I'm gonna propose to Rochelle on Valentine's Day. And she just looked at me and she was like, why? <laughs> But she said that in a sense that like, like what's wrong? As soon as she realized what I meant, she was like ecstatic yeah. and really happy, freaking out. Luke mm -hmm. was there, he was happy and freaking out. That's so cute. See, I wish I got to see that side of it, honestly. <laughs> what would be Dang the point it. then? I don't know. When did you buy the ring? And how long did you have to hide it? Where was it hidden? Regarding the ring, this ring is actually a ring that Rochelle picked out over a year ago. So we go to a jeweler, because I like collecting watches and things like that. Rochelle has a watch, you know, any kind of jewelry. I always go to the same guy and we've been going to him for probably two years now. Mm -hmm. He always messes with us. Every time we went in there and he'd be like, oh, you know, have your girl look at the rings. Just, Too I was right. like, I mean, it's a good thing because it helped me because I knew what to get, you yeah. know? It was funny because he's like, you can't let your girl walk around without a ring on. Like someone's going to snatch her up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he like kept hooking it up. He was yeah. like, yeah, go look at the rings. Go, which one do you like? You know, I went in again to either look at a watch or clean a watch or something. I really had no intention of like getting anything other than my watch. Bro. And I saw the ring and I honestly was like, dude, just, you know, can you hold this for me until I'm ready to do it? Mm -hmm. And he was like, yeah, no problem. So he took it, you know, put it in the back. And I wasn't even sure about, like, I knew I was gonna propose, but like I didn't have it planned yet. I just wanted that ring because I knew it was the one Rochelle wanted. Fast forward, you know, eight months or so. Mm -hmm. And I was like, hey, like, do you still have the ring? Fully expecting him to not have it anymore. Cause I, I thought like he it must have gone, put it yeah. back at this point. Cause he was like, oh, he's not gonna get it. Which would have been fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Cause it had been so long. And he's like, yeah, I got it right here. So I was like, oh, like crazy. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna, you know, talk to her family, do all of the stuff first. And then I'm gonna come back and buy it. And then probably two weeks before the proposal, I went and bought the ring. I actually had to go to Rochelle's mom's house and I had to help her basically detail the car. That was the day you got it? Yeah, while I... I knew it. No, you didn't. And brought it back to Rochelle's mom's house to hold. 
And then after that, about a week before, I knew Rochelle's mom was going out of town. We actually went over for dinner and while Rochelle was in the bathroom, I went upstairs, got the ring, and then I put it in the car. I didn't know any of this, guys. Whenever I buy like a designer thing, I'll save the box and stuff. So I have like the Saint Laurent bag on top of my closet. Next to our Saint Laurent memory box? Yeah. It, and in the bag, because the bag's black, I put the black bag that the ring was in inside the Saint Laurent bag. It was in our closet the whole time. Not yeah. the whole time, but like a couple days before the proposal. Yeah. I put it in my backpack when we went to the hotel, hoping Rochelle wouldn't ask to like put her laptop in my backpack or anything. You know she what's always so that. weird is that day I took a separate bag. Yeah, which we which never we do. Which we never do. That's we always so do them. weird. Mm -hmm. That's really freaking weird. When we finally were going downstairs to do the whole thing, I was like, like I'm wearing a flannel and jeans. How am I gonna like put this box in my pocket? So I put it in the pocket of my hoodie, and I was like, oh, it's pretty cold. I'll bring a hoodie. And then I just held my hoodie with the ring inside. Yep. Thinking back to it now and just like mm -hmm. seeing how it all played out, I'm like, damn, it makes it sense. It was a lot but of work. I was just like. Whoo. I had no idea. Another popular question was how nervous were you? Were you I was nervous? nervous as hell. Yeah, were I was you? nervous as hell. Were you stressed? I was nervous? not nervous about Rochelle saying no. That's what people might construe that for, yeah. which is not, I was obviously knew she was going to say yes, whether that's cocky or not. Like obviously, she <laughs> obviously was we've been say together yes. for so long. If I said no, I think and there'd we, be a deep rooted and issue. And we already are like a married couple. Yeah. I hate public speaking. Speaking in front of people is an extreme fear of mine. I was so nervous that I was going to forget my lines in front of her whole family. Your lines, you wrote a script? And seemed stupid. Did no. You write, did you write a script? I didn't write anything. I literally didn't know what I was gonna say up until the time when we were walking downstairs from the hotel. Because every single day I was thinking about it and every time I thought about it, it gave me anxiety. So I was like, every day like, oh, I should definitely think of what I'm gonna say. Like I really need to put a, put something <laughs> together so I have at least a basis. And I just kept pushing, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. I'm happy I did it that way because it made me say what I really felt in the moment. The last part where I said, you really showed me what true love is, mm -hmm. I didn't know that I was gonna say, that just came out in that moment. Aww. So I must have really felt that and Aww. then said it. You must you know? have or you did? <laughs> but it was funny because during the proposal, I thought it went like perfectly and everything was great. And then we watched the video and there's a part where you can see Zach gets really nervous because he's like, oh crap, what I do I say? <laughs> what do I say next? We were talking about it later, like after it happened. And he was like, yeah, babe, I totally blacked out in that moment. I didn't know what to say. So I just said, and, and then got on his knee and will you marry me? Yeah, but it worked out. It worked out. It was beautiful. The whole thing was like amazing. But it's funny, like looking back, he was like, yeah, I totally blacked out. I did not know what to say. I did. <laughs> That's funny. Everyone's watching. All the people walking by mm -hmm. were watching. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> the wind was crazy. You were crying. I was like, uh, I'm really happy with how everything went, but I'm really happy that it's over and we can just move forward and continue having a great life together. Yeah. Everything worked out so perfectly and I couldn't be happier with how it went. Me either. And then the last question, the question that I feel like most people want to know, when's the wedding and do we have a theme already? <laughs> Honestly, guys, we're just going to enjoy our engagement. We're not in a rush to get married. Here's the thing. Our number one priority in our lives right Getting now house. is buying a house. Yes. That's definitely number one. So once we buy a house, then we'll figure out when we're going to get married. We'll probably get married sometime between one and two years from now. We really also Closer want to two, probably. We also want COVID to be over with and mm -hmm. the travel and stuff to be easier mm -hmm. because obviously we have family, she has family in Germany. Germany. I have family on the East Coast and we want it we want it to be as easy as possible. And we, we want everyone to come. We don't want to have to have restrictions as far as like people can't travel or whatever. Yeah. Obviously, we'll keep you guys in the loop. The whole entire process and everything, we're going to vlog it and you guys will be a part of every decision. But yeah, as far as like a timeline and stuff, definitely like 2 years probably. One to two years, I guess. Mm -hmm. But anyways, we just wanted to film this video to kind of like catch up with you guys after the fact and like fill you in on what happened. Hopefully we answered most of your questions. If you guys had any more questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And we'll just reply. Thank you so much for the amount of support we've received on our engagement and all that stuff. We just can't thank you guys enough. It's really sweet reading all of your comments and everything. So and we can't wait to share the future with you guys as well. So whether yeah. you've been here since the start or you're new, Either way, we love all of you guys and we can't wait to show you what's next. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you guys enjoyed it and we will see you in our next one. Bye. Bye.